Tara Kamikse's dog shelter in Georgia runs on small donations, mostly from abroad. She finds new homes for some of an estimated 500,000 animals that wander the streets of the South Caucasus nation. But under a contentious bill vetoed by the president, but passed by Georgia's parliament on Tuesday, her small shelter could be designated an agent of foreign influence. Now the only interest that we pursue is the interest of these dogs and I challenge anyone to tell me that which one of these is actually a foreign power. The bill triggered a major political crisis in Georgia, the biggest protest since independence from the Soviet Union in 1991 and condemnation from the West. It requires organisations receiving more than 20% of their funding from overseas to register as foreign agents and introduces punitive fines for violations. The Georgian government says the new law would protect Georgian sovereignty and promote transparency, but many non-governmental organisations fear it will hamper and prevent their work. Tanad Goma supports drug addicts and HIV patients. It fears the bill will put off foreign donors who make up the bulk of their financing. Nino Evganitse, head of the Economic Policy Research Centre think tank, fears it could shut down her organisation. She says the bill is reminiscent of Soviet-era repressions. This fight for freedom is a generational fight because, I mean, all our parents, grandpas and their parents, they were uh, killed, exiled or jailed with this, like, you know, accusations they, that they were the agents of the foreign influence.